You're watching Black Tree on TV. I mean, you obviously got into this business to perfect your craft and, you know, bring stories to life. But when you're a part of something like this that is so frenzied, how does that make a difference? Well, at least you know that there's going to be bums on seats that, are, you know, are going to support you, are enthusiastic. I mean, the fan base is extraordinary, and I had a little taste of it previous. You know, I know about it a little bit because of the Game of Thrones. So when you have so well-informed, um, enthusiastic fans like that, I mean, it's just, it's just a joy because they care. They care so much, and you want to do the best you can for them. And there was real striving on this movie to be as faithful to the source material as possible to Suzanne Collins' novels because, you know, that's where it all began, so. Yes, it does. Now, tell the truth. Who has the craziest fan base? Game of Thrones, Hunger Games? It's pretty 50-50, you know? Because I did a Comic-Con last uh, July in San Diego and I was going from one cast and signing and panel to the other. And it's pretty, it's pretty level. It really is. I'm hoping there's some crossover there, you know. I hope there is quite a few people that are, are mad for both. But uh, if you're asking me who would win in the arena, you know, who would uh, be the victor, who would end up on the Iron Throne, <laughs> the, uh, the, the reply is, I don't know, that would be a really tight fight. Hmm. Well, you have an opinion. You're keeping, no, I'm not. I'm letting you set the table and tell the story, but you're keeping this thing. I'm not. It's not a cop out. I promise really? you. Really? Really? No, it's it very really not. A cop it's not the diplomatic answer. It's not at all. See, I thought you were going they to are, edge one out. No, over because the they other. both come from such strong, uh, the purists. That the, both of them have the purists that just love the books, okay. and then you have the overlay of the fans that love the. Interpret the you know the screen interpretation. So they both have a kind of sim. They both have fantastic writing. They both have incredible ensemble. All right, well, let's break the tie like this. Which books did you jump into first? Well, okay. So I haven't read the Game of Thrones, but I have read the Hunger Games. But that's because I approach those two characters from different angles. Okay, so, so okay, so how do you approach your Hunger Games character? Well, I'm, um, you know. Cressida is, uh, what I love about Cressida is she's a professional. Okay. She's about her job. She just wants to get the shot. There's two things you need to know about Cressida is she wants to overthrow Snow. Okay, So she has one. a political conviction. All right. She wants against a tyrannical government. And then, then she just wants to get the shot. Okay. She's the director that is going to, is the best director, and she's going to do whatever she can to get the shot. That's what about, it. Now, what about your character on Game of Thrones? Yeah, so Marjorie is a lot more ambiguous. You're like, what she, you know, where you, when, when, when you're with Cressida, you know what she's thinking and feeling. When you're with Marjorie, you can't work her out for love nor money. <laughs> That's a great, <laughs> no, 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 that was actually a great breakdown. I love this interview, love the energy. Thanks, hey, both, Game of Thrones, Hunger Games, both incredible, so keep doing it big. Lovely, thank you Boom. very much, Thanks, nice yeah. to meet you.